Hello, hello. Check in the stream. Hello, hello. Check in. Okay, the stream seems to be okay. Hello and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and currently we are having some technical issues. We've got sound, but we've got absolutely no uh, video so it's gonna be a bit of a radio show just for a moment until I can actually get something sorted so one person watching at the moment so welcome to the stream there we go right we've got video back again hopefully we've still got sound audio uh, welcome 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 back to the channel today we are playing the crew 2 if it wasn't already obvious we're playing the crew 2 in a drive part 2 you can see here the brand new hobbies update this came out i believe on wednesday and um the crew 2 is not really a game that i play very much it's a game that i really enjoy i love all the different um types of vehicles you can go and try out in this world you've got boats planes cars bikes whatever you're into so that's something that's really nice but i really like that this update <coughs> excuse me it adds something fresh to the game something that we've not seen for a little while and um yeah so if you've not loaded into this yet and this is what it looks like <coughs> sorry just having a few uh, breathing issues <laughs> um so let's just hit continue and see what happens so oh we actually have to choose a brand new character <laughs> that's better right so um, you can go and choose uh, lots of new characters this is something that you usually do at the start of the crew but I guess they kind of want you to well not start over but I guess they kind of want you to um, they want to make it fresh and there's a lot of new character models I've not seen some of these character models before I don't think these were at the start of the game this guy looks very much like me he's got shorts on and he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt so I think we've got to go for him and yeah we're loading into the game we've currently got one person watching we got a message from ted simpson he says corona yeah we're still in lockdown at the moment if you're watching the stream in the future sometime then we're currently in corona lockdown still so unfortunate for us but to the brand new um update this is what you will see this is obviously just a normal sort of page and they've changed this up dramatically so you can see um, most of this page is still the same except now it tells you how many of the vehicles you own of each type so you can see I own five out of the 30 different Fords and it also shows you your personal collection which is quite cool actually I do like that 
and then you can go over to your profile which has been completely revamped you can see there it has um, basically has your favorite car so at the moment my favorite car is the drag viper um, but obviously you can change it up to whatever you want we've still got the pilot which if you don't know what that is it's basically all this it's like the timeline all your photos icon points all that good stuff um, vehicles I think that's yeah so this is currently my favorite vehicle you can see right here and the reason that we're all here today is for the hobbies which is now available so if you go on here it actually welcomes you to the whole hobbies deal so there are three different types of hobbies that you can go and get over the past week I've been showing you guys the brand new um, trailers that have been released uh, sort of showing you what you can do in those hobbies so you can be a racer an explorer or a collector and there's different sort of missions or like different tasks that you have to go and do to prove which one of those you are so today I want to see if we can at least unlock one of the cars I don't know how much work it's going to be we might not even be able to unlock one of the cars hopefully we can unlock all three so we've got the brand new Mazda RX-7 we've got the Hummer H2 and also the Plymouth so there's some really cool new vehicles added I really want all of them uh, so I believe the only way we can do uh, the only way we can purchase them or sort of gain those cars is to actually unlock them I don't think you can purchase them um, but I want to try and unlock them anyway because it's just that's the whole point of the update so it says you've got to complete actions in your favorite hobbies to earn stars Star stars allows you to progress in hobbies to unlock exclusive rewards so here we go uh, congratulations you've already completed some actions oh okay so we've got a lot of stars for the explorer the collector yeah I'm definitely gonna have a lot for the collector I am more of a collector holy shit we've got 126 stars so we've got 174 overall I'm guessing we might already have enough to unlock one of the a lie let's go to the collector um, we've got some new emotes I think I really really want that Plymouth Roadrunner look at that thing it's an absolute beast um, I don't know what all of these little things are popping up at the bottom um, I'm gonna collect them in love lion emote I don't know what any of these do honestly the emotes I've never really um, got into all that kind of thing the main thing that we obviously want to so these I guess are all of the different things uh, that I've got uh, some of these I think are ones that, so this is all the things you can go and do so you can see like this one says test dummy and it says test drive any vehicle uh, for 3.1 miles so that's something really easy I'm guessing these are all going to be quite easy things that you can go and do um, but it's just a bit of fun so you can see over on the left hand side it tells you all the different stars so um, what they mean so the rare underglow costs uh, 455 stars the outfit is 355 stars my TV is just turned off just bear with me for a moment I don't know why it's doing that it's, it kept doing that today just turning off on its own it's a little bit weird but um, yeah the epic emote that is 270 the rare emote 195 and the one that i really want the plymouth roadrunner at the top it says 570 stars that's a lot of stars so i don't know if we're going to be able to unlock it in this video honestly um 
there's a lot of little easy tasks we can go and do in here but um, okay so the gold ones are completed tasks the um, the silver ones are ones that we're almost sort of finished at so this one is spare parts we have to get 10,000 spare parts this one is get rich then get richer so we have to get to 500,000 credits networking we have to gain 5 million followers yeah that's not going to happen in today's video um, reach icon level 500 uh, these are all completed Grab common performance parts. So we can probably do that in today. We'll just have to do like one. Um, have to just do like one sort of mission. And we probably get some common performance parts. Pimp your rides. Grab a rare performance part. That shouldn't be too hard either. Epic. Yeah, all of these should be fairly easy. So we'll go and. Can we pin more than one? Yeah, we can pin more than one. Oh, we can only pin two at a time. Okay, um, we'll, we'll go for common and rare for now. Um, I don't think it really matters which... Um, I don't think it really matters which job we go and do it on. Let's have a look in the Explorer what we've unlocked here. Um, so these are all sort of the different explorer things we can visit the HQ I mean that's a fairly easy one visit the street racing HQ yeah so if we visit all the HQs we basically we get four stars for each of these so that's 12 stars right there the Hummer you can see that uh, costs 520 so yeah the car is like the main goal I guess let's have a quick look in the racer one I'm not much of a racer in this game um, I know it's a racing game but it's just I just prefer the exploring part of the um, the exploring part of this game just customizing the cars driving around so I don't do much racing obviously that's the main part of the game but yeah um, some fairly easy ones here finish a street race event finish an off-road event finish a freestyle finish a pro racing so they should be pretty easy um, this one you get four stars for losing a player a PVE um, um, race basically so basically you get stars for losing which is quite funny um, drive without collision in an event go through checkpoints in a PVE event uh, prove your love by playing events so it's not really that hard I mean this one you've got to play events for one hour that's not hard we'll probably do that in today's video so um, I don't know where we pinned the thingy I can't remember which ones we were gonna do um, all right so we we're just gonna do any any sort of mission we've got another message from Aaron Lee he says hello hello welcome to the stream <coughs> it has been a little while since I've done a live stream for you guys so I thought today it's a brand new update for the crew too I've not made many updates we're also in third person that's something that's quite new um, oh and it has pinned our things on the left hand side there which is super helpful and do we have any drag events that we can go and do while well, we've got the Viper out um, let's see if they've updated anything on the map it doesn't look like it there's a bunch of events that I haven't done yet so if we go to to do that's a street race, there's a street race there. Uh, oh, that's a drag race. Shall we go and do that one? I think so. Right, let's travel to there in the Viper. Use the fast travel. So we've literally just gained another, um, we've literally just gained another thingy. Um, I've just got a friend request whoever has sent me a friend request I'll accept it after the stream I'm not going to do that right now but if you are watching the stream 
then I will do that in a minute. Oh, well, not in a minute, but after the stream. Right, we have to beat 15 and a half seconds. It shouldn't be too difficult. Right, here we go. Let's see. Sorry, I've gone all quiet. I'm just concentrating. I've not done one of these drag events for quite a long time. Um, yeah, they're not too difficult. Well, we've just completed another one, so that's absolutely brilliant. We'll just skip that. Uh, we've got a message from Aaron Lee. He says, can I play with you? Yeah, you can play with me if you want to. Um, just join up, I guess. All right, here we go. Second run. Let's see if we can get a bit faster. Getting the first shift is actually so difficult. So hard to get that exactly right. I also used the knot a little bit too early there. We're still going to beat the target time, but I think that was slower than the first thing. Yeah, it was half a second slower. Let's see if we can beat this this time. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect burn. Here we go. All right. I don't know when exactly we need to hit the knots. I'm going to hit it now. There we go. I don't think we used up all the knots before. We th that was slower. Felt slower. Yeah. Oh! A tenth of a second slower. That's incredible. But So our fastest one was actually the first one. But we beat the thing. So that's absolutely fine. We're getting loads of these... Um, loads of these things at the bottom. And um, if we go... Oh. Okay, it has to load us into the map again. If we go to these, we've got one of each of those. So we need one more epic part and one more um, common part, which shouldn't be too difficult. So I'm just trying to remember how to play this game. It has been a little while, so um, we've haven't we just done this one? We've just done this drag race, haven't we? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see what else we can do. I don't really like street races that much. I'm probably going to get shouted at by some of you now. Um, Hypercar, no. I, I'm not really a big fan of the street racing. I like circuit racing a bit more. Uh, rally raid. Oh, I do enjoy those. Uh, let's go and do a rally raid event. We got three people watching the stream. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm trying to drive on dirt with a drag car. It's not really working. This is not how you off-road. <laughs> it's going to switch us into the Chevy, I think. Yes. Look at this beast. This would be an awesome real life car. Not really a big Camaro fan, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. Um those of you who like Chevy, I do like Chevy, but more of a Dodge fan. Right. I do love these rally raid events though, they're really fun to go and do. Because there's no like set path you just got to make your own way and I think that's really cool I love that kind of uh, gameplay I love those kind of races um, but I don't really like street races that much when there's a lot of street furniture around um, that can just get you in a lot of trouble and none of my street cars are really that fast I'm hoping we're going the right way yeah, I think this should lead us round the right way. 
Yeah, none of my street racing vehicles are all that fast, so that's a bit of a pain. I prefer circuit racing when there's an actual, like, definitive route. Oh, I forgot we have knots as well. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I've played the Crew 2, so um, if you guys are big Crew 2 fans, you play it every day or, or, or every week. I've probably not played the Crew 2 in about three months. The last time I came on was actually to try and unlock the classic Ferrari whatever it is, the touring car one, the classic Ferrari touring car. Um, that was one of the rewards, like the weekly reward things. I can't think what it's called. Yeah, I know I'm hitting a lot of stuff, but my controller is acting up a little bit at the moment. I may have to get a new controller. Not right now, obviously. There's nothing I can do right now. I'm just going to try my best. I don't think we're going to finish this event in first, though. <laughs> we'll just carry on. I don't think the uh, NPCs ever have a crash, so... We can't really hope for a crash. This is also... Yeah, that's just put me out of contention completely. You don't usually have to do a million point turn in the middle of a race, so... I think I've just lost, but never mind. We'll carry on anyway, finish the event. We might get some parts, I don't know. We're definitely not going to beat the time, though. It seems to be, whenever I turn to the right... So I'm turning full right now, and you can see my car just wasn't turning. My controller is really acting up, and it's been a pain recently because I've been playing some GTA, and it's a pain on that game because some of the cars you've got to be very quick with the steering, and it um, doesn't really help if you have no steering. And I've also been playing a lot of SnowRunner recently. You guys might have seen some of that on the channel, and that game you need to be very sort of precise with your steering. And if you've got no steering in one direction, it's a real pain in the, the backside. No oh, thanks for the uh, support there. We got another message from Aaron Lee. He says, how can we play? Um, I guess after this race, I will have to accept your uh, friend request and then you'll probably be able to join. So I'll do that in a second. Just wait till I finish this event. I'll wait till I've lost this event, I should say. There are some bison in the way. I don't know if we could have shortcut up there, but we're gonna go around the long way. I think we had to beat three minutes. It's almost four minutes now, so there's not a chance we're gonna beat it, but I think the um, NPC guy is, yeah, he's just crossed the finish line, so. My steering was a bit of a pain in the ass there, I'm not going to lie. It sounds like I'm making excuses, but if you played with this controller, I don't think you would enjoy it yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, we crossed the line. I don't think we're going to get any rewards for that. But we did get one of the things, which was lose a PvE event. So, I guess we're still making some progress. We get points for losing. So, um, Aaron Lee, I will go ahead and accept your friend request. Okay, there we go. Um... Right, let's see if we can go and do another event. Um, hmm. What other event could we go and do? Is there any more drag races? I do enjoy drag racing. It, it seems really simple, drag racing, but I really like it. Um, Alpha Grand Prix, and I'm not a big fan of them either. Ah, we've got the... Uh, Miami track down here. 
the Miami every zone is that how you pronounce that i don't know but i do like touring car events so we'll go and do this one hopefully we can uh, win that one i don't know what touring oh yeah of course my touring car is a dodge charger for those of you who don't know i am a massive muscle car fan i don't own a muscle car i'd like to um I mention it almost every video that I'm a big muscle car fan, but nearly all my vehicles in this game are classic muscle car. Well, all the vehicles that I use, so like the Camaro, that's obviously a classic muscle car. Here, I'm in a Dodge Charger against like Aston Martin Vulcans and stuff. It's quite funny because it's not really the kind of car you'd expect to be a touring car, but. It's actually reasonably fast. I mean, I am not winning at the moment. Hopefully we can make it to the front. Also, one of the uh, things we had to go and do was um, complete a full race without... Well, I was going to say without crashing into anyone, but we just ran that guy off the track. So that's probably out of the question now. I also have no steering still, which is uh, having to use the handbrake a little bit to just sort of turn it. You can probably see when the back end slides out, that's me using the handbrake to try and turn this thing. It is working a little bit, although the back end is sliding, which is not really what you want to go for the fastest time. Yeah, I couldn't really turn in enough there. Right. There's also no sort of like home stretch on this track. It's very twisty. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Right. Oh well there is a kind of home stretch but it's really short, you can see here. And all of the people are pulling away. Oh shit. Um, there was a corner there that I kind of missed. Never mind. Right, we got one lap to try and get to first position. I don't think that's going to happen. This maybe wasn't the best vehicle. It is apparently my best um, touring car. Because I think it always puts you in your best touring car. Or like in your best vehicle for a certain event. And it put me in this thing, so I'm guessing this is my fastest uh, touring car, but I have no idea. This thing's more of a NASCAR, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't really like corners. We might have to take this to the uh, Eagle Speed Drome, or whatever the hell it's called. The big oval NASCAR circuit. I know there's no events there, but we can go and find one. Also, I don't know if we get parts for doing like the little challenge things like the free mode challenges like the escape and all that kind of business so we could go and do one of those we could do like a speed trap or something oh apparently we have another lap to go or did we just not reach the finish line yet I took my hands off the controller and apparently we've not finished yet right come on car we're definitely not going to win, but I mean, um, I think you still get things for coming third. I'm not going to come third, but I mean, we might as well at least finish the race, get a few credits. There's the finish line. And we're in last position again. Yeah. I think the uh, controller coupled with the car was not really the best combination. Those of you who um, play the crew to a lot and you're actually good at this game, please don't laugh at me. <laughs> We've got four people watching the stream. That's absolutely... Oh, it's just gone down to three. Well, we did have four people watching. I hope you're all enjoying the stream. Watching me lose. It's not really going that well. All right. Let's see what other events we can go and do. We still got those two things to go and do. 
I have a feeling we're not going to unlock the car in today's episode, but um, we'll just see what happens. There's a street race there. There's a street race there. And there's a lot of street races. I don't really like street races all that much. Um, let's go on done. Whoop. Um, let's go done. All right. So these are all the events that I've already finished. I want to find something... Hmm. Actually, one of my favourite things to go and do is the Ski Jump Rallycross event. I think it's this one here. The Rallycross, in my opinion, is the best part of this game. I absolutely love off-road vehicles and all that kind of business. And uh, I believe my Rallycross car is also... Oh no, it's not a Dodge Charger. Okay. It's a Lancia Delta S4. A very good uh, rally car, I should mention. Very classic, very cool rally car. And uh, the Ski Jump event is definitely my favourite Rallycross event. I love all the Rallycross events in this game, but of them all, this is probably my favourite. There's a corner there. I don't think we're going to make it to the start line. Rallycross cars have a lot of oversteer, and that's mainly how I like to drive my cars. A lot of front end grip and just let the tail end fly out. That's kind of my preference. You guys might have different preferences. Everyone drives differently. But yeah, that's what I prefer. You can see there, just the front end sticks in and the back end just swings out a little bit. And that's why I like the rally cross events. Also, I've got some good rally cars. Which, um, I can't say for all my, sort of, I'm trying to think of the word, like genres of, um, of racing, there is a word, but I can't think of it. All of the um okay, apparently we're just gonna get overtaken by a Datsun. Yeah, all of my um other sort of genres of racing, I don't really have any good vehicles, but I actually do have some good rally cars. I also quite like the boat racing. I'm a big sort of boat fan. I don't have a boat or anything in real life. I just like boats. Um, so the fact that we actually have boat racing is really cool. Not everyone really appreciates that, but I think the water physics and the water graphics in this game are some of the best that we've seen. And sort of like the best graphics we've seen compared to similar games. And uh, the fact that you can actually drive on the water with the boats is really cool, actually. And um, this Datsun keeps overtaking me, which is really annoying. I'm not using the NOS nearly as much as I should be. I'm also not learning the track as much as I should be. I swear the, um, the NPCs in this game have got better, because they weren't this good last time I played this game. I might have just got worse as well. That is also a possibility. I've just been T-boned by a Mini, for God's sake. I think we still basically... Yeah, complete the challenge for coming in third anyway. Yeah, reach top three. So, we should... At least get... Um, we should at least... Yes, we get a green and a blue. That's what we needed. There we go, we have got, I think, four more stars. There we go. So if we go on, um, oh, it was on here. If we go to this menu, and to hobbies, and then we go to this one. And now, if we go to Pimp Your Rides... Okay, so... Um, I think we got two stars for that. 
so now we have to get 15 of those so it basically keeps going um, legendary and epic parts I don't feel like we're gonna get any of those our bath collection own our bath vehicles okay that seems a fairly easy one let's go to the catalog our bath we've got to own three of the four our baths um, We've, okay, so we've owned those two. So we have to own either the 124 Rally Edition or the Street Edition. It's not really a vehicle I like, I'm going to be honest with you. But if I was to buy it... Actually, this one's cheaper, so yeah, we'll go ahead and buy that one. And hopefully that should then give us some stars for that. If you guys are still watching the stream, then um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, then I would definitely recommend going and doing that because we are, um, oh, we've also completed another thing, so that's good. We might as well go and test drive this thing because I think that was one of the things that uh, we had to go and do as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend go and subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 300 subscribers. My TV has just turned off again. Just bear with me for a second. Uh, yeah, we're almost at 300 subs. When we get to 300 subs, I will be doing another merch giveaway. I did one at 200 and you guys love that one. So, if you want a chance to get some Moldy Worm Gaming merch, then I would definitely recommend subscribing to the channel. My TV also doesn't want to turn back on for some reason. Hmm. We're having some technical difficulties at the moment. just bear with me for one minute Okay, the TV is back. I don't know what it's playing at. It's been a real pain in the ass. Everything seems to be breaking. My controller seems to be breaking. Um, are you joking me? The TV's just gone off again. Just bear with me for another minute. Right, the TV is back. Um, I don't know if it's an overheating issue. I do have my TV in the window. So that could possibly be the problem. Um, I've got the TV at the moment, so I'm just going to make the most of this. We've got to test drive this thing for three miles. So I don't know how far three miles is going to be, but 
let's just boot this thing because I think it is on a time limit as well. This thing actually a pretty good handling car. I do like this thing. I don't like the look of it. I mean, it looks horrible, but it sounds pretty good and it's pretty fast as well for a stock vehicle. It's pretty. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty. Why do I keep doing that? It's quick. Pretty nippy is what I'm trying to say. That just did not come out right. All right. Five seconds, come on. I don't think we're gonna make three miles, to be honest with you. Yeah, it just kicks you out of the car after that. Um, we're gonna buy the car anyway, so I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, I've just clicked test drive again. It's not really what I wanted to do. Daniel Kerridge has subscribed to the channel. channel. Thank you very much, it means a lot. We are at 298 subscribers now. We're two subscribers away from reaching our um, subscriber goal. If you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe, then please do. Uh, also, what colour do we want? Oh, I do like the blue. There was a teacher at my school had one of these um, our baths and he had it in blue, so... I'm going to buy it in blue. It does look nice in blue. There we go. The Abarth Collector. Uh, let's drive this thing. It looks absolutely... Uh, well, it looks absolutely disgusting. But it does go pretty fast. I wish we could get a hard top version. That would improve it a little bit. I really hate convertibles. But this thing's pretty nippy for a stock vehicle, I'm not going to lie. It's got just the right amount of oversteer for my liking. And it's got just enough front grip to keep it sort of planted on the road. So when we go like round this corner. I've forgotten what the handbrake is. Okay, handbrake is square apparently. Yeah, when you go around the corner, you can just kick the ass end out enough and end up in some rocks. <laughs> um, but we've still got a lot of work to do to try and unlock the Plymouth. I don't think we're going to do it in this episode, honestly. Um, Daniel Kerridge says, are you on Xbox? No, unfortunately, I am on PlayStation. I would be on uh, Xbox but all my mates bought a Playstation so I bought a Playstation so I could play with them basically um, but if you are interested I am planning on buying an Xbox Series X when they come out so yeah um, so we've got the R Bath collection we can collect uh, five BMWs, we need three Audis, so we need one more Audi. Aston Martin Collector, we need one more Aston Martin. We need two more Alfa Romeos. Um, so basically there's loads of these that you can go and do. Um, yeah, so basically if you buy a load of cars, you... you can earn a lot of them here so I guess that's why we got so many because I own so many vehicles in this game that's why we uh, that's why we went and unlocked all of these but can we actually buy these on the catalogue that's a question I'm not gonna do it if we can but I'm just curious uh, Plymouth Progress in the collector hobbies to earn this exclusive vehicle. So you can't actually buy the thing, which is uh, kind of interesting. You can't just go. You can't just go to the store and buy the thing. You actually have to work to get it, which is kind of annoying because, uh, like, if you have the money, you should be able to just buy the thing. But we can at least go and test drive this thing. Which look at this! What an absolute beast! And listen to the sound of it. Oh, it sounds absolutely awesome. 
the launch is, is pretty good actually for a muscle car it's a boat don't get me wrong but yeah okay so it does understeer a little bit um, it is a muscle car at the end of the day but this thing has a pretty good launch I'm not gonna lie but this thing's an absolute beast I'm not sure if this is the one that um, Dom uses in Fast and Furious in Fast and Furious 7 when he's driving through the graveyard I think it's the same one I mean obviously his is not this color I think his is like copper um, but someone will let me know in the comments anyway if it is the same vehicle I know it's a Plymouth but I don't know if it's Plymouth Roadrunner um, yeah that's an absolute awesome vehicle I really want to collect that so let's see what other things we can go and do to try and unlock this thing um, there are also other ones we can go and do for the Explorer and the Racer. I'm probably going to make some videos unlocking the Hummer and the Nissan. Uh, the Mazda even. Where did I get Nissan from? Um, okay. Um, gain followers in a crew while playing PvP. Grab epic, so these are all things you can do in a crew together, I guess. Um, so we've got to own, so we need three more BMWs. I don't think we can really afford that. Audis, we need one more Audi. I hate Audis, but if it means that we can buy a, or if it means we can unlock the Plymouth, then I might go and buy another one. Let's open up the store here, the catalogue, <coughs> and see what the cheapest Audi is. I don't think we can afford it, honestly. Audi is here. So, yeah, we've got the V8, uh, the R8, sorry, we can't afford that. The TT, how much is that? 180,000, yeah, so we can't afford any of those. Um, Okay, what are the... Nope. What are the ones? So we can't get the Beamer. And the Aston Martin, we need one more Aston Martin. Why are they all the expensive cars? That's what I want to know. Why, why do we have to buy the expensive cars? Alright, Aston Martin. I don't think we're going to be able to afford any of these. Uh, no, we can't afford any of those. Okay, um, let's have a look what other ones there are. Alfa Romeo. Um, we need two more Alfa Romeos. I don't think we're going to be able to afford those either. Let's have a look. The 4C is 200 grand. The 8C is nearly 300 grand. The 8C Competizione is over 300 grand, and I own the Quadrifoggio. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how you pronounce it in Cumbrian, anyway. Uh, so, no is the answer to those. I've just backed out the menu again. Um, oh, for God's sake. The loading screens are a bit annoying in this. They're better than GTA at least. We can't can't get any worse than GTA. Um, right, let's see what other ones. Bugatti Collector. Pfft, not even going to look at that. We're not going to be able to afford any of them. Cadillac. There's apparently three Cadillacs you can own in this game. Uh, let's have a look. Cadillacs might not be too bad. Um, okay. So, I've got the Eldorado, we've got the Escalade Touring Car, the Escalade Rally Raid, and the normal Escalade. Um, well, we can afford this Escalade, the sort of civilian street version, uh, but we need to... Oh, that's no good. Um, the Live Summit, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Alright, we're going to be going backwards and forwards through this menu just for a little minute. 
Chevy Collector, yeah, we need... There's a lot of vehicles that we've got to own. Uh, Kawasaki Jeep. Ooh. We only need one more Jeep. We might be able to afford that as well. Let's have a look in the catalogue. Jeep. Let's see here. The Grand Cherokee. No, can't afford that. Uh, we could afford the Wrangler, that's only 16 grand, and it's a pretty cool vehicle, I'm not going to lie. I do like this vehicle, so I think we're going to go and buy it. I mean, it's 16 grand, we might as well. Um, the Jeep Rubicon. And the TV's just gone off again, of course it has. Um... I think we're going to go for green in this thing. I think the TV is having some overheating issues. <coughs> there we go. We've got the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I'm not even going to drive this thing because I'm not really that interested in it. TV's gone off again. This seems to be a bit of an issue. I might just leave it off for like five minutes and then come back to you. So yeah, I'll see you all in about five minutes. It's a good time if you need to go to the loo, go to the loo if you want to make a brew. Make a brew, basically. It's brew and loo break.
Okay, and we are back. Hopefully, the t I don't know how long the TV's going to last, but I've just held an ice pack on the back of it for about five minutes. So, it's a lot cooler. It was, like, really hot when I touched the back. And it's cooled down now. So, hopefully, it should be okay. Um, yeah, I can't remember what we were doing. We were having a look what other things we could do to try and unlock some stars, I think. Uh, so if we go back to the hobbies page, we're getting closer. We are getting closer to that 500 stars. It's going to take a little while. Um, right, the collector things, we can't really do any of those. Um, shirts. You need some shirts to own. We've got to own, we've got to own sorry, five shirts, I guess. Um... Okay, uh, so this is all like stuff, like shirts and shoes and stuff, so that's all good, I guess. Um, we can go and do that. Um, get some tyres that add extra oomph out of your car. Um, there's lots of easy ones we can do. Turn the lights on and off in the house or HQ. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, let's open up the map. Apparently we have houses in the game now. Is that new? Or are they, have they always been in the game? I don't know. I haven't played this game for a long time, so someone will let me know. I think it means this by the home, I'm guessing. Well, it says home, so. I don't think we can ch turn the uh, lights on and off at the uh, HQ, though. Well, you must be able to if it's one of the challenges, but I don't seem to remember that being one of the things. Um, I also don't know where we turn the lights on and off at. Um... Uh, <laughs> Well, we can go outside, which is one thing, although it's raining out here, so that's probably not the best idea. I also like that we have cars in our house. I mean, obviously this is the garage, but we have cars in our garage, which is a little bit interesting. That's photo mode, that's not what I wanted to do. Are we permanently in third person now as well? I preferred first person, honestly. But, I don't know where we turn the lights. Can we just turn this light on? If we go up to it. Someone's screaming at me now, like, you turn the lights on like this. But I have no idea how. Oh. There's a big obvious switch somewhere on the wall, I'm guessing. <sighs> turn the lights on and off in the home. Oh, this is the kitchen. We have an aeroplane in our kitchen. <laughs> Just kind of amusing. Where do we turn the lights on and off? I have no idea. Is it by the elevator? What's this? It's a fire extinguisher. Okay, that's not it. Um, I mean, light switches are on the wall, right? I'm guessing it's on the wall, unless it's over here. It's just for the elevator, okay, so it's not that. There must be a switch somewhere. The TV is on mute. Okay, we'll leave that on mute. There has to be a switch somewhere, I'm guessing. I don't know where. That's another fire extinguisher. Um, all right, so we've got a boat in the living room. Alright, I have no idea where we turn the lights on and off, so we'll skip that one. Um, let's see what other things we could go and do as the collector. There's also loads of these. Right, let's go right to the bottom. Uh, drive utility vehicles. 
zero of 31 miles. Drive hot hatch, hot hatch cars, 31 miles. Drive muscle cars, yeah. I had a feeling that I've driven muscle cars a lot more. Drive sports cars, drive supercars, drive GT cars, drive modern cars, drive classic cars. Start your engine house or HQ. Now that shouldn't be too hard. If we go out of here and up to the car. Um, I don't know how we start the car though. Performance. Is it in here? Uh, we might as well go and apply these. How do we start the car? Is it just hold? I think it's just hold to drive maybe? That clearly wasn't it. Okay. Let's go back in the house. Someone will tell me how to start the car. I have no idea. Uh, maybe it's in like customization. Visual parts. Um, there must be a way. There's somewhere there is a way to start the car, but I don't know where. Uh, can I get in? Ah, oh, okay, right. Can we go? If we go to the front of the car, does that work? Previous action. Come on, there must be one for the bonnet somewhere. That's to turn the. Okay, that. Oh, okay, so turn the lights on and off in the house HQ didn't mean the, the lights up there, it meant the car lights. Okay, so there must be a way somewhere here that we can turn the engine on. How do we do that? Open and close the door in the HQ, okay. The window in the HQ, okay, so that's another one we've done there. These, these are some very easy little ones. Basically, we have to do all of the... Ah, okay, this is how we start the engine. So, honk the horn, I'm going to guess that's one of them. Yes, it is. A wipers. I'm just guessing here that these are some of the things it wants us to do. Um, start the engine. There we go. Okay, so we're gaining a lot here just from doing those. Exit the vehicle. All right, that was... Uh, all right, how many more did we get? I think we got like five more just for doing that. Um... <laughs> We're slowly getting closer to that 500 mark. Alright, how many more did we... Whoa, we got quite a lot for that, actually. Let's go right down to the bottom. Yeah, so we just unlocked all of these. Test dummy. Okay, right, so we can do that. We need to just drive some more test vehicles. Spend time in HQ. We have to spend five minutes in the HQ. Uh, so we'll do that in a second. Equip smoke on a touring. Right, okay. So the ones that I want to go and do are drive any test vehicle. So we can go and test some more vehicles and spend time in HQ. I have to spend five more minutes in HQ. We have also unlocked another reward in here. Nice. We'll collect that. Why not? All right. So if we now go to the HQ, we have to spend 55 seconds in the HQ. And we also need to test some of the new vehicles out. So we can go and do that. I'm just going to stand here for like five minutes. Well, I'm not going to stand here for five minutes. I'm going to stand here for 55 seconds. And just until that little thing pops up. We can have a look at some of the new cars while we're waiting. This is one of the brand new vehicles that got added in the the original Inner Drive update, the part one of the Inner Drive update. 
This is the Lamborghini Diablo. I think it's the SV as well. I don't know. Uh, I think actually we might have a test drive of this thing. It looks absolutely incredible. Really, really cool vehicle. It's a shame that it doesn't have the pop-up headlights. I think it is the SV version because the SV version has these like standard headlights and the normal version has pop-ups. But that's fine. I don't really mind that. What have we got here? We've got a Drift Mustang. That will only end well. Alright, spend time in HQ. We've done that one. Okay. Let's jump into the Diablo here. Oh, it sounds absolutely incredible. Oh, that sounds good. Right, come on. We're going to do this one. I don't think we've got to go very far. This thing handles like an absolute dream as well. Oh, it took that corner really well. I have ended up in a hedge with it though. I don't think they'd appreciate that in real life if you just threw a Lamborghini Diablo into a hedge or into a tree all right I'm just waiting for the little thing to pop up I don't think we're gonna do it ah oh, it's returned us I think one more test drive and we should do it um, let's go ahead and test drive the drift Mustang me and drift cars don't really have a very good history this Mustang is also not the best drift car. Oh, hellfire. I hate these wheels. They look absolutely hideous. And I also don't really like Mustangs. I'm not a Mustang fan. The camber on this, the wheels on this, the car itself. No, I do not like that. But we have test drived. Oh, we have test driven, I guess now, for 3.1 miles. So, that's at least something. Um, and we've got the HQ one. I don't think we got any more stars for it, though, unfortunately. I don't know why. Let's go... Let's go and have another look. Oh, we did. Okay. 174... Right, if we go down here, um, start your engine, so that's all those, test drum dummy, uh, test drive any vehicles 12 miles, so we got the first, so there's like different stages as well, so we got stage one, um, there are 12 stage, uh, no, 12, there are four stages that you've got to go and do, so we've done the first one. Um, the next one in HQ is spend 10 minutes, so we've already spent 5 minutes, and basically it adds up so it doesn't reset every time, which is nice. Um, let's have a look here. Muscle cars, we drive 31 miles, so uh, 31 minus 18 basically. I'm going to do some quick maths. Is 13 miles. So we need to drive 13 miles in a muscle car. That sounds like my kind of challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. I love muscle cars. And if I get to drive them for 13 miles, that is completely fine with me. How do we leave here as well? I have no idea. I've not played this game for so long. I can't remember how to play it. Okay. We'll travel to here. Switch to a muscle car. We're going to go for the most iconic muscle car in the world, in my opinion. Vehicles. We'll go for my favourite vehicle. Here we go. The General Lee... Dodge Charger. If this ain't a muscle car, I don't know what is. This is an absolute beast. <laughs> if 
for those of you who don't know, I have mentioned it, I do like classic muscle cars. Well, I like new muscle cars as well, but I prefer classic muscle cars. I have a classic Mini in real life, which is my dream car. That is my favourite car in real life, and I actually do own one. My second favourite car in real life is a 69 Charger, which I would really like to own one day. And in this game, it looks absolutely incredible. So I'd love to see one of these... Um, in my own garage at home one day. That's a long way off. They cost a lot of money these days. Unsurprisingly, they're very sought after, especially if they look like the General Lee. A lot of people just paint them up to be like the General Lee. I should also probably set a waypoint for somewhere to go. We need to travel 13 miles, and I don't know how far we've traveled. So, um, let's just travel to here, I guess. We will uh, set a waypoint to there. Hopefully that's about 13 miles. I think the entire map across is like 60-something miles. So, how far is that? That's 9 miles. Yeah, that should probably... Well, we'll just drive to there and then we can drive a bit further if we need to. I think this also might be for the first stage of this um, of this challenge to drive 31 miles. I think then it'll be like 60 miles and then like 120. We're not going to drive 120 miles in this episode, but um, we might do in the future. It's been a little while since we've done a Crew 2 road trip, so um, yeah, we'll open up the q and A. I I guess. If anyone's still watching and you want to ask me some questions, then feel free to do that. We've also just unlocked another star, which is great. <coughs> Excuse me. You basically unlock stars for everything you do. Some some of the things you don't even have to think about it. You just unlock the stars for doing it. So it's pretty good actually. Two hundred miles an hour in a Dodge Charger, right into the back of a mid-size SUV would have cost a lot of money in real life if you'd done that. I've also just missed our turn off, which is... and I've missed it again. Alright, this next left turn we do need to take, I think. Oh, misjudged that a little bit. Drift it in there, that was a nice little drift there. I actually prefer drifting in the street cars than in the... Okay. Just rear-ended a Chevy. Yeah, and another one. I do prefer drifting in the street cars because it feels a lot more rewarding than drifting in the uh, actual drift cars. The drift cars, just you don't really have to do anything. You just turn and it does the drifting for you. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill to like hold the drift and not slam into stuff, but... When you drift in a street car, you pull off a nice drift, it feels a lot more rewarding. Out of my way. We've got four miles to go, okay, so we didn't actually... Oops, press the wrong button. Um, 174 we're on to. Front end of the charge is smashed up a little bit there. Um, we had to travel 13 miles, this wasn't quite far enough, so we'll go to... Where are we going to go to? We'll go to here, I guess. Oh, I just fast travelled. God damn. Well, we might as well do a motorway blast, actually. Oh, I keep opening the wrong menus up as well. Um, okay. 
where is the big motorway the big long straight motorways um <laughs> here it is near Las Vegas the big straight motorways where you can get a lot of speed up we'll go travel to here have a blast up the motorway and hopefully that should be the muscle car one done then excuse that noise that is just a pheasant outside my uh, window right we will drive to here I guess I thought I think I just fast traveled there I didn't mean to do that I think I just yeah I just fast traveled there for God's sake right oh use the fast travel ten times well we at least unlocked that so that's something if we just follow the blue line that's one of the things one of the things we can go and do is visit all of the HQs as well so we'll do that after this one I've just been rear-ended by a buggy get out of my way buggy right where do we need to go we need to go down here Drive 31 miles in a classic muscle car, apparently with no brakes. <laughs> and straight into the front of the Chevy. So we need to travel about five more miles I'd say to complete this challenge we've still got the um, common and rare things on this left side we could still go and do those yeah my driving's not brilliant I apologize for that Nice little drift there. I did not see that car then. Dodge Charger smashed into another Dodge Charger. That's quite funny. But it's not funny. In real life I'd probably be dead. I should probably stop trying to drift this thing. God damn Armco bar Barrier had to just be there. Well, we smashed the Chevy out of the way this time. Oh, I was looking at the front of the car. Why is it so dark? That's what I want to know. I mean, I know it's going night time, but why haven't the lights come on yet? I think about two miles should do it. In fact, there's a challenge up here. We might as well see if we can do that whilst we're getting away. <laughs> is it speed trap? Yes, it is. I think we're fast enough there. Yeah, easy. Easy wins there. This thing has some insane grip as well. Well, for a muscle car it does. Alright. I'm just waiting for the little thing to pop up. We must be only about one mile now, I'm guessing. Something like that. That's some water. We don't want to go in there. straight off a bridge we didn't flip it we nearly did I think in real life we probably would have flipped there but um, 
This is the Crew 2 where we have extreme gravity that keeps the vehicles from flipping over like that. It's really annoying the extreme gravity actually, it's a bit unrealistic um, something I'd, yeah. So we've completed stage one of the muscle car driving thing. How far do we have to go to complete the next stage? I think quite a lot further. We've got another two stars at least, that's something. Let's see, where was it at? Um, both Beauty and Beast, yeah. So the next one we have to drive 62 miles and I'm guessing the next one's 120 and then probably a lot further than that. We're almost at the, uh, we're almost at the Plymouth Roadrunner. We're at 175, we've got to get to 570. So when I say we're almost there, we're actually nowhere near. I think we'll go and have a see if we can travel to the what's this right okay yeah uh, we'll travel to the um the other hqs i also i've just noticed if you actually look at the left hand side of the sort of thing where the stars are it's kind of like a bar that slowly fills up which is pretty cool actually i do like that The only annoying thing about this uh, whole hobbies thing, it is really, really cool. But if you're like me, you actually really want to get these vehicles. The only way to unlock them is to grind this game out like crazy. And that's something that I can appreciate in the crew too. But it is also really annoying is the grind. I absolutely hate the grind in, in the crew too. I think this should be an option to grind for those who want to do it. So if you want to grind out and get the car for free, then you can do that. But you should also have the option to just buy it because people who want to just drive the vehicle, people who just want to, you know, have a go in the vehicle, they just want to, you know, buy the vehicle. They don't want to go through all of this. Right, we've done the street HQ, we've done the off-road HQ. Let's go to the lie to the freestyle HQ. And then we've got the Pro Racing HQ, I think it's called. Something like that, I don't know. There we go. Visit Emmett, we've done that. We got to just go to the <laughs> the Pro Touring HQ. I think it's, I can't remember what it's called. The Extreme one. I can't even remember where it is. It's over here. What is it called? The Pro Racing. Yeah. We'll visit that if it ever loads in. Loading screens are better than GTA, but they could be faster still. I'm not going to lie. There we go. We have visited Alexis. Alexa? <laughs> yeah. Um, but that is probably going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, we've been streaming for about an hour and a half now. We've made a bit of progress on the hobbies... Um, but it is a bit of a grind to go and do this so I'm probably going to do it in a video off camera for you guys try and unlock the Plymouth the Hummer and the Mazda they're three really cool cars three cars that I really want to go and unlock so if you want to see those videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, we have actually gained a couple more stars we're definitely doing better on the collector uh, but thank you very much for watching today's stream. I hope you have all enjoyed. It has been a little bit boring, but this has just been a brief look at the hobbies and sort of what it has to offer in the crew too. So um, yeah, thanks for for watching. Hope you have all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.